Uh, but everyone does it. Everyone, everyone in some way, you know, acts like a child. <laughs> Do you think the yachting industry is still, you know, like the whole Me Too movement and like all the stuff that's going on, like with women, like, do you think they- All completely scrapped. And it's unfortunate to say, but again, I go back to my very first season. I had just come off of a boat, being on that boat for four months. You lose how to respect people. And that's the truth. You, it depends again on the boat and how much time you have off. Um, but you lose how to respect a woman. You, you, not as far as respecting in the sense like you, you try and get with them or you, you swear them out for nothing. But you just you, you treat them like your sister. Um, and therefore, when you get off the boat, it's projected because you treat everyone like your sister. And if you have a grudge with someone, you, you are very quick to point out that grudge or point out what, what you feel is wrong with that person. And yeah, that's what happened in my first season. It was just a matter of, you know, I, I made a, a, a commitment right in the beginning of my yachting career that I would never be with anyone while I'm on a boat. And that's exactly what happened up until below deck the, the season. And that's because I knew it was only for six weeks. So right. if, if it was a permanent job, I would maintain the fact that, I mean, I've literally, I've, I've almost had to leave a job because within the first three days, this Australian girl was insane. Like she was, she was insanely like committed to being with me. And it got very awkward in, uh, you know, with the 23 crew. And I'm like, I'm about to leave this boat because it's just too much. I can't even, I can't even do, you know, she's making up shit about me. And she's, she's like, why wouldn't you be with me? Why are you flirting with that person? Why are you doing this? I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm about to leave this boat because I can't deal with this, you know? Um, yeah. And wow. then getting up to the, the boat, uh, the season, obviously my whole Casey Brooke situation. I did tell them though, in the beginning that I wanted nothing to do with anyone as far as relationships. So that was there. Obviously that was a slight thing that below deck missed. <laughs> so, but yeah. And other than Casey Brooke, this six weeks on TV, like you've never had anything with a crew, your whole no. yacht. Wow. Not, not, on, not, on, not on my own boat, no. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's... And it's for that reason, you, you literally, you, the, the feel like you, you cause, you, you, you start a very poisonous environment, not just with you, with everyone. A lot of the time, the person who's been on the boat has been with someone else on the boat or it's been with your, your chief mates and now you're the deckhand and now you've got with the chief stew. It becomes real below deck stuff. <laughs> what about like diversity? Cause like at least on the show, we see like a lack of diversity. Like we had Simone and a few, like, is yeah. that true you in the yachting I industry? That, I saw, I saw a couple of comments. Um, I did, um, I did actually reach out and I was almost going to say quite a bit on that, but you know, it opens a can of worms there. I will back Lee up and saying there is diversity. People don't realize that, you know, the industry, the, the, the small boats that you see, uh, you know, they they have a specific type of person that, 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 that's the type of boat that they go for, you know? If you get to the bigger boats, uh, as far as diversity, race, uh, Filipinos, whatever it may be, uh, people of color, people of anything, there are so many people. The, the other thing is that within the yachting industry, and for some reason, there is a minority in, in black people wanting, for example, to actually get in the industry. So when we go to a crew house, there are, there are, there's no one there. I've never heard once of... Uh, a person of color, I'll say, not getting a job. You know, they always do. And it's not you know, like, I think I read something on along the lines of Simone uh, being stood up on a job for a lady with blonde hair and blue eyes, because that's what they prefer. Well, two things. If you want to change that, you have to change the mindset of a billionaire, because that's what he wants. So he's paying for that. If that's his preference, that's fine. But it's not a preference against her. It's a preference for a blonde hair and blue eyed girl. You know what I mean? So it's, it, it's, it's a hard topic as far as yachting, um, as far as trying to change the industry, it needs to change from the very top and it needs to change from the very bottom. Um, it, more people of color need to apply for jobs. Um, you know, Sandy has a, a, a point where she's, she says that she wants more people, uh, more diversity as far as women 
being on deck. Yes, but more girls need to apply to be on deck. They don't. Um, and it's just as hard for a, a, a lady to become a captain as it is for a, a gay steward to become the chief steward on a boat because a, an owner has his preference or her preference, you know. Uh, it doesn't come from the captains. It, it, it comes from the look that the captain knows that the owner wants, you know, and that is, it's like asking, I don't know, it's like asking someone to, it's, it's, it's a preference in the industry and every job comes with, you know, an accountant needs to learn how to be an accountant. Um, you need to, to know what you're doing before you go in is the same example of, okay, the industry has, boats with set preferences um i know russian boats they don't want anyone who speaks russian on their boat because they don't want the crew to hear their conversations that is wow. a preference you know so it's it, you you can kind of you you can't isolate it to to one thing it is a huge topic that we could go in circles and circles about but I will back Lee up and saying it is actually diverse. It is diverse in a sense that what you see on the show may, it, you can't, it's not that it's not diverse. It is showing you exactly what the industry is about for reasons being it's an English speaking uh, uh, program, for example. Um, it is a, a program where you, you know, everyone wants to see the lavish, lavish life and, you know, beautiful people it, it, all shows are like that. You know what I mean? But as far as the yachting industry is concerned, there is a minority of people of color applying for those types of positions for them to actually obtain the position. Um, that yeah, makes again, sense. Billionaires are the ones that control the captains or the, the management company of what they want. If you want the industry to change, change the billionaire, billionaire's mindset first. Because the billionaires yeah. will literally say, like, I don't want a gay male or any male as they yeah, stew. Absolutely. Or exactly they 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 want their own appeal it's 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 literally whatever is appealing to them is what they'll get or what they ask for uh, regardless of how well you do your job that is what the industry is about so before you apply to an industry and then complain about it understand what it's about and choose your career wisely and what about and then we'll wrap up what about because like you said like billionaires want everything they want all the hookers or whatever they want you know, what about, forget about the crew. What about like drugs on board? You know, like everyone. Uh, from, from the billionaire to the decant, it, everyone does it. That's it's just true. how it is. Yeah. Um, I personally, and I'll say it, I've never taken drugs and I've never been that type of person, but it, it is more common than one would imagine. And you know what? I'll probably get a lot of criticism in saying this, but I, I'm, you know, I, I'm, not selling an industry out it is what it is you know it's 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 a big issue within the industry and it comes with the stress of it if people you know you're in a, in a confined space you you have the few people that are on board you have issues you literally do not sleep how do you stay awake well i'll take drugs i'll take cocaine and stay awake and with all due respect to all those who do and don't, a lot of the time it's probably better to take something like that once off to keep you awake than to get blind drunk because that, that has an adverse effect on your abilities and stuff, you know? So, but at, at the billionaire side, we, I can't even, if, if we saw something on board, that would be scraped off very quickly because nobody's supposed to know it's their own private house. So you can't, unless it affects Unless the billionaire turns around and kills someone, then that's their home. That's they, they own that that boat. They can do whatever they like. Right. So, like, just I'm picturing a scene. There's like ten billionaires sitting around. I don't know where the hookers are. They're right to the side, and just yeah. there's drugs everywhere out. In everyone's doing drugs. Just the crew. Yeah. Just is you're supposed to really just to kind of turn a blind eye. Oh, there, there's absolutely no doubt about that. No, what drugs? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's just how it is. That's the industry. I mean, that's and I think, what... I mean, even even so, I think it's less seen than it is around in every industry. Um, everywhere I've been in in New York and stuff, I'm like, yeah, not everyone is clean right now, you know, and. Yeah. Did I lose you?
why do I feel like your internet has frozen towards the end of our chat? Come back on, where are you? Oh, where are you, where are you, where are you? I hear you are. Sorry about that. I swear, it's always at the end. This always happens at the end with everybody. It's like we're <laughs> the last two minutes. Cheers. <laughs> it's like, all right, so yeah. we'll, we'll, we're, we're going to wrap up anyway. So we'll like go like, right back to the drugs. So, okay, so that's what I, I mean, that's what I thought. I figured that that was the scene and just, you know. Again, you, you sign a, a you, you are in close proximity with the owner where you don't, nobody gets a chance to actually get that close to a billionaire. So when you are a, a, let's say, a glorified cleaner to start off with in the industry right at the bottom, and you see this kind of stuff, it can be overwhelming to start off with, but your disclosure agreement and stuff, you, you're tied to very, very, you know, strictly. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm saying generalizing, it, some boats are very clean, some boats, you know, are not very clean. Um, and that's, it, it comes with the pressure of being on, on board, it comes, that's the crew side. And the billionaire can do whatever he wants. So if you're going to, you're in his home you're, or her home, you know, um, you have to accept that and you have to literally turn a blind eye. Otherwise you're in the wrong industry. And then that's a difference between the real industry and below deck when you're filming oh, yeah. a TV show. Exactly. They all want to do it. They're just not. 